Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to this walkthrough of Ether One. This is Blackjack Kent, and we are going to resume our game here. We've been uh, initiated as a restorer, sent in, into the mind of Jean, somebody other, somebody or other who has dementia. We're going to help piece her memories together with the help of Phyllis, who may or may not be evil. So now we're all caught up. Let's uh, let's go to work. I recall we left off at some sort of, like, scenic overlook. Uh... Whoop. From when I thought my audio crapped out, but nope. Ah, uh, here's my footsteps. Devlin Mine. This is really pretty. By the way, I want to live here. I do not blame you from coming back for coming back from America to this uh gene. In fact, I approve wholeheartedly. Look at that. Go you guys. This is some nice nice scenery. Which I can only assume is uh prepping me for terrible mur uh murder and mayhem or something. I'm really not sure whether or not there's going to be more jump scares like the one that freaked me out uh, last time. It seems to me that uh, Phyllis promised me more information and has not yet delivered, so I'm kind of hoping she speaks up soon. Or maybe I'm not. I could get used to her not talking in my ear. Oop. This isn't made by the same people who made Gone Home, is it? Like, the mechanics feel somewhat similar, I guess. Not the inventory system, but the, like, general aesthetic is not that different. Uh, oh hey, it's a thing. Check it out. Unease in the mine. Mr. Moran, it has come to my attention during my inspection of the mining facilities here at Devlin that many of the workers in the pit are unsettled, uneasy, and as a result, unproductive. There's clearly a correlation between the pitiful working conditions that these men have to endure and their motivation to do productive and worthwhile work. Lifts and def descent devices are clearly in disrepair. Ventilation in the chambers below are blocked, causing fume and smoke buildup. With these issues and more in mind, it is with my sincere apologies that I have decided that Devlin Mine should close temporarily until these issues meet the standards required by your governing union body. Okay. So, this was a mine. Jesus. <laughs> I'm still carrying the harmonica from the picnic site. Um, This was a mine that got shut down for some reason. Well, for poor working conditions. Why are we here? New health and safety mining laws to come into effect soon. Be sure to check with your mining warden to get up to date with the new laws. For your safety and the safety of your co-workers. That is an unnecessary period. Unnecessary period. Bell's inventions breathe fresh air into pinwheel. Like Alexander Graham Bell? Is this set? That'd be like the mid 1800s, right? This one was only 69, though. I'm confused. Alright. Uh, pinwheel industrial tin exports plummet all hopes on U.S. export deal. Hundreds of jobs are at risk as the local tin and arsenic export quantities lower dramatically within the European territory. All hopes are pinned on the successful closing of a U.S. export deal. That would secure the company for the foreseeable future. The closure of Pinwheel Industrial would have devastating consequences on the small mining town of Pinwheel, where the economy relies greatly on the exports of tin, arsenic, and cider. What secrets does the lighthouse hold? And special church service. In preparation for Pinwheel's May Day celebrations, Father D. Wolsten Wolstentholm will be holding a special service at Pinwheel Church. The service will commence at midday and will conclude with the ringing of the tower bells. Okay. I see food. Hey, another note. Such an idiot. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. I borrowed 
the air compression manual in order to make repairs in the mine, and I left it down past the blast doors. Steve has warned me so many times about being forgetful, I just hope I can get it back before it gets lost forever. I can't afford... Huh, sorry. Huh. I can't afford for any of my wage to be docked this week. It's the second giant yawn I've done during this walkthrough. I swear I'm not bored, I'm just really tired this week. Anything in here? No. Like, there could not be another jump scare for the entire game, and I'm still going to be ridiculously tense the whole time, because I have no idea what's going on. Phyllis? Should I be, like, doing something in particular here? Mm. You're going to speak up out of nowhere, aren't you? When I least expect or appreciate it. Do I have a map? No. Uh. Somehow the soothing music is not serving to soothe me particularly. Readings indicate that oh, the central geez. focus of this memory is located below you, in an old abandoned mine known as Devlin. Entry 95D in our client's memory journal indicates that an accident occurred affecting them in a meaningful way. Okay. So is our purpose to go down there and suffer an accident, or...? Thank you for not jump-scaring me, though, Phyllis. It's very thoughtful of you. Uh... That door whoop, is locked, and we do not currently have a combination, so we will come back to that. Pretty flower, very nice. This is really making me want to go to Cornwall, is what this game is accomplishing so far. Uh, what secrets does the lighthouse hold? Village Cider to stop production. Our beloved field cider may cease production upon the ending of the May Day celebrations. Mr. P. Field, who soon might not be able to continue with his labor pending a U.S. export deal, wanted to share some words. Thank you to all who have supported me during these tough times. Okay, what's this? Letter to Mr. Harvey of Hale. Dear Mr. Harvey, as I'm sure you are aware, my client Mr. H. Smith is intent on offering you a particularly generous buyout of the Harvey & Company Limited Enterprise. We would like to propose a meeting between parties and solicitors on the 15th October at our offices in Devlin to discuss a potential acquisition of assets and trade. Be under no illusion, Mr. Harvey. We are fully aware, good God, of your con- uh, huh, We are current- Oh, God. We are fully aware of your current financial disposition and are incredibly interested in rectifying the situation for you. Yours sincerely, Mr. J. Dawkins, business solicitor and consultant. Okay. Who was Harvey, I wonder? Mr. Field was, uh, the cider person, so I don't know who, what, what Harvey's business was. Uh, what's this? It's worth noting that if you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey, and you have no use for it now, you can always store it in the case and collect it at any time. Okay. Should you want to. <laughs> well, that seems significant. I guess we're going to need the tobacco later. So, let's go put that over here. Hooray. I don't know if we're gonna need the harmonica, but what the fuck. Can't height, right? I'm gonna become such a pack rat here. Watch. Alright. Uh. What's this? Note to self I need to ensure that I remember the lock combination to Devlin's side entrance, but the warden banned any of us from writing it down. Miners eat from metal plates, don't forget. Miners eat from metal plates. Is that a code? Uh, where was that door that was locked? That was out here, wasn't it? Miners eat from metal plates. Is it a five 
number combination? No. Hmm. Miners eat from metal plates. Alright, whatever, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to it. What's in here? Anything? Suitcase. This is really pretty. Uh, what's up here? There's this really subtle, like, sound effect going on of, like, a thumping that's sort of unnerving me. Uh, what's this? What the fuck? Paper. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Can we type something? On it? <laughs> Memory journal number one. Monday. I remember waking up here for the first time and feeling sad. For a long time I couldn't understand why I was here, but then I remembered smelling perfume. For the first time I was happy, but I'm not sure I know why. Saturday. Today a nurse was holding my hand and asked me to calm down. I tried to explain that I had spilled a cup of hot tea and burnt my arm. The pain was terrible. The nurse shushed me and told me my arm was fine, and when I looked down I saw that I was wearing a bandage. The nurse explained that I had had an accident on Thursday. I hardly heard a word she said after that. Somehow I had managed to lose three days. Eek. Alright. Uh. What the fuck? I'm gonna... <laughs> until it becomes, like, an actual inconvenience, I guess I'm going to just put... everything here. Although, I'm clicking here and it's not letting me... Do I not have anything in my inventory? I thought I picked something up there. The paper. Oh, I put it in there. Oh! Gotcha. Huh. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, this we will take back, though, because why the fuck would we not want a pinwheel memorial plate? Or whatever it is. Yeah, something like that. Alright. Uh... So, about that up there, no? Books. Huh. All right. How about downstairs? Place is all running nice and powerful. There is no one here. Nobody here. What is that? Nothing we can do anything with, evidently. Alright, and thus we come to the end of the line, I believe, which means we need to figure out how to get through that locked door. Which is going to be... Problem. Miners eat from metal plates, right? Hmm. Do, do, do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a metal plate. What does it say? C Cornish Institute of Mining and Engineering. Is that... Oh, hello! Hello! 1670. Got it. <laughs> 1670. We got it. We got it. We're awesome. 
Hell yes. Hell to the yes. One. Six. Seven. Zero. Um, oh. <laughs> there we go, Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> into our client's personal history. Good for you. And I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry that discusses the mine at great lengths but doesn't discuss whom the individual was that worked there. Continue to work your way down further into the mine. It seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information. Whoa. Okay. Put those back for now. I smell another puzzle. Please ensure all valves are in correct position before lever activation. Lever. Not lever. Lever, because we're in Britain. Alright, I have no idea if all the valves are in the correct position, so I'm not going to touch that right now. By the way, Phyllis, I thought you said all you saw were like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, whoa. I thought you said all you saw were like, uh, brain diagrams and stuff like that, or like brain scans. How did you know it was a mine? Creeper. Devlin Mine. Oh, okay, here we go. Beam engine diagram. Alright, so we want open... Closed, closed, open, closed. Right, left, left, right, left. Alright. 